is there any comedian that really just a lot of their show is just straight off the head? I mean, like, don't write any of their jokes. Is a straight off the dome. Carlos. Carlos. Just it's like I I watched this the show I did with him. I watched this nigga improv for forty five minutes straight. Wow. Just off of the crowd. Mm-hmm. This and you could tell when somebody improv this joke. I literally watched him, and that was the show where it was probably about eight people there. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. It might be bad. Uh-uh. I got five. I want five Go ahead. internet. Your top five internet comedians. comedians and your top five. What was it? Three. Top three. three. Top three internet comedians. Top three uh, traditional stand-up comedians. Top three internet comedians. Me, me, me. I knew you were going to say you. Me? But you can't just say you. Yes, you, I can. You. That's wrong. Yes, I can. Man, you ain't yes, going to give nobody no I'm love, not, bro. I mean, every nigga funny. Show I'm a nigga that. some love, nigga. Me. Oh, me. Why this nigga care one, man? He don't want to let a nigga I have can't, no... I can't just pal three bro, people Bro, show them up. niggas some love, man. Um, Country Wayne killing it when it come down to numbers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean... But I mean, that, I, that I, may not be your. I, I don't know. I, I, I watch him a little bit. He can't not, watch nobody. That's what I'm saying. I watch I watch his videos a little bit. That's all. Um, who funny? Um, God, dog. Me for one. Let me put me first. Let me put me okay. first. Because okay. I ain't finna put a nigga before me. <laughs> Let me put me first. Um, um, who else? It's a lot, bro. Um. I don't know. You swear I you don't some know, else, man. man. It's too many. Um, no. I watch. I watched uh, the dude. Uh, Insta Trey Day. Okay, he funny. he funny. Yeah, he funny. I watch him. Um, who else? One more. It's too many, bro. I don't know. Me after that. So I, got a, going, I got no, a question. No, he got to give me the uh, traditional stand up. Because he, he ain't oh, trying to find out. Traditional. Oh, traditional. Traditional. Like old, older, yeah. older comedians old, that came li- up. Living or dead. Either, either, either way. one. Either way. Um, Only three. Jamie Foxx. Mm-hmm. Who else? Martin Lawrence. Okay. I love Martin Lawrence. You Def Jam Martin Lawrence. No, I like Martin Lawrence uh, sitcom. Martin Lawrence. I do too, but that the, sitcom the Def Jam did not level. level. Truth. So Martin Lawrence. We talking about stand up. So the Def okay. Jam one. That's all. Martin Lawrence. Um, who else I said? Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. And. Mm. I, I I love Bernie Mac. I'm not even. Mm. I thought that who because he he real like I thought that's who you would say. Some people might certain stuff they can't say. He didn't care, so he 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 just gonna say what he want. That's why I love Bernie Mac. Wow. Okay. I, my question is so um because no. I haven't been to <laughs> I haven't been to every um, comedy show and you know you travel a lot you see a lot of different comedians. Um, is there any comedian? That really just a lot of their show is just straight off the head. I mean, like, don't write any of their jokes. It's just straight off the dome. Carlos. Carlos. It's like, I I watched this, the show I did with him, I watched this nigga improv for 45 minutes straight. Wow. Just off of the crowd. Mm -hmm. This, and you could tell when somebody improv this joke. I literally watched him, and that was the show where it was probably about eight people there. Mm. So that probably why the promoter ain't gonna give us our, yeah, he give got us man. When I say this man was performing like it was a lot of people there, eight people, yeah. and I learned from there. I was like, you know what, man, no matter what, I'm just gonna you no know, have fun like that. He improv the whole show, gave them people they money work. Every time wow. I every time I go to see him and Bubba Dub. Uh, as far as the internet side go, like, cause they, I mean, you know, he's TV as well. Carlos kind of old school. He yeah, can't, yeah. You, you can't, can't put him in no new uh, internet, True. but he still rock 
like you know with the internet cause of the way he you know he's able to uh, adapt and transform you know what I mean mm -hmm. so. I know I stepped away for a second but I wasn't sure did you um, go over how did you meet Jesse the comedian not yet how did That's you meet? How did you meet Jesse? Yeah, Jesse. Oh, um, shout out to Jesse. The I used to King. work at a uh, Home Hill. I used to work at Home Hill, and he needed a you know CNA or something like that. I used to do CNA side work, and I seen him coming in. He failed, and I was like, let me help that little nigga up. And ever since I picked him up, he was like, you don't never snatch me up like the other people do. He was if like, you don't get the hell out of my, you just get your ass up. She up. looking like, I don't get your ass up. No, um, my manager had um, put him on the show. How I met him, it was on one of my shows. He was hosting it, and he he killed it. I'm not gonna lie, he killed it. Were that you surprised? First. Yeah, because when he was bringing them up, I'm like, hold hold on, nigga, what what we got going on here? This a nigga on crutches. What you like? He had the stick up there. I'm right. Like, who? What you doing, dog? If we need somebody that bad, I stay on stage that long. <laughs> Cause I didn't know. I'm like, hold on. This nigga just getting anybody time now. But when he went up there, he killed he it. He killed I, it, didn't he? From That's that first day, he killed it. He was on my shows four four straight years. That's crazy. Killing it. He he do a great job, man. He do. I didn't yeah, even we were shocked that. cause we went to Atlanta and saw him for the first time. He killed it. And that nigga I is was hilarious. For real. He killed it, and you yeah. don't even know. You don't expect. You that. don't expect. Don't, that. That don't you don't saying. expect that. Because when he getting up there, everybody looking like, oh, what, what's going on? Exactly. I gotta ask you these questions. You can't get off boss talk one on one without getting uh -oh. these damn questions. Uh -oh. uh, P Diddy. <laughs> yeah, nigga. P. Diddy is going through all hell. They got a new picture of him looking like Danny Glover. It's going viral right now. Uh, they say he's stressing out. How do you see P. Diddy ending up uh, two years from now, three years from now? Uh, the smoke clears. What happens with P. Diddy? I don't know. I, I think he going to stay in some mess. You don't think he going to? No, it's, it's too much going on. It, that why that gray hair coming out, it's too much. That nigga scratching. It's too, it way too much, for real. It's too much, too much. And his whole beard was black. <laughs> My you see, how the, you <laughs> see how the nigga picture looking? That nigga scratching. That nigga like, I'm finna Because he you. probably used to diet, and now he don't care. Right, well, that nigga should have showed us it was dying, because now <laughs> we know got, there's so much going on. So he just didn't come out. Man, look at his eyes. You ain't even got pay attention to the beard. <laughs> he about to hurt you. Man, that nigga stressing. So in three years, you think he'll be stressed out more? Nah, three you think he gonna let it go? He, he, he might. Get... He might fake his death in three years. He's gonna be too much stuff on him. It's well, you know, he in the high seat. Came, uh, You don't I'm... think prison time gonna come into it? I don't think so. He got too much money. Yeah, he got too I much. That's what I'm saying. So. He gonna some some. I don't know. I think Sirac dropped him. Yeah, I think so. Alleg allegedly. 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 allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. But I don't know. It's just too much going on. I don't. You don't. Mm. You, yeah. So you don't. What do you think about the Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion? Yeah, I don't. Thing. I don't watch it. You, you don't, don't watch, watch it. Yeah, I don't. Because that's so crazy. Because the thing is that um, I read something today to think that the fans of Nicki Minaj will take it that far as where. They're trying to have extra security at Megan's mama's grave I, to no, make okay, sure I seen that, yeah. that they don't come and like defile her grave or do anything to her grave. I'm like, you really would take it that far for Nicki Minaj? That's yes, crazy. I, you y'all done did it on this internet. You young? Yeah, you. Nah, not me. Yeah, you. You, you, you are the boys in the hood. Great uh, point. But, but then you yeah, gonna blame you, it on you. the fans? You gonna say, well, she didn't tell the fans to go do it? This internet up to where everybody living. We ain't doing like that. Like that for real. Them crazy fans, right? Yeah. Man, that's, that don't make no sense. That's At too all. crazy. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.